I don't even know what to say about Marco's work outfit. If I saw this, I would not think, oh, that person is a bag man. <laughs> Have a great day doing, you know, whatever it is that you do. What is up, folks? Welcome back to another episode of our Legacy Challenge here in the beautiful Monta Vista. So two things. Number one, I played two days off camera, Saturday and Sunday. So it's Monday morning, bright and early. We got a very busy day today. And secondly, I did end up redoing some parts of the house. So I spent around, I don't know, 30,000, 25, 30,000 simoleons. So we're a bit farther away from our goal of being able to buy a resort, but that's okay. Today's investment returns day. I think Think we'll be just fine so we might end up buying a resort in this episode we'll see and if you want to see like in detail the changes i made to the house i do have a house tour i'll link that up top if you haven't seen it already okay so let's go ahead and check in with the morettis first and foremost miss maria i think today is the day that miss maria will become leader of the free world she definitely deserves it after all she's been through her life has not been a fairy tale I know she like grew up in privilege and everything, but she lost her husband. She's a single mom. She's been a single mom, I guess, since her daughter Gabriella was a child. So things haven't been easy for her. And in the last episode, she almost got promoted. But in the two days I played off camera, I did end up doing a campaign fundraising event. So the funding looks good and she'll definitely be getting that promotion today. I'm excited. So she's going to get herself taken care of and she's going to head off to work. Y'all won't be seeing Miss Adora here today because she won't get home until 1 a.m. You know, as an astronaut, she works all day on Monday, but she should be getting a raise, which is pretty cool. She already makes 437 per hour. Cameo in a film, absolutely, Maria. Moving on over to Nicoletta, who's still in bed. Yesterday, Nicoletta maxed out the guitar skill. Very impressed by that. She might get a promotion today. We'll see. You know, speaking of Adora and Nicoletta, the kiddos are doing great. The toddlers down here, Claudio and Camila have learned pretty much everything they need to learn. They've learned how to talk, how to walk, and how to use the potty chair. So unless I miss something, I think we're good to go. They should age up just fine. I did get some, I don't usually read toddler books to the kiddos, but I did get some of those. And I think I had Maria read one to Camila yesterday. So speaking of which, we're going to have Marco come down here and feed Claudio. And Valentina, his daughter, is also doing really well. She hasn't learned everything she needs to. I think she needs to learn how to potty and she hasn't learned everything from both of these. So we'll focus on that with her in this episode. But let's see Maria. There she is zooming off to work. I'm so excited for her to complete her lifetime wish. So as long as everything goes according to plan, she'll be good to go. Back at the house, Marco. It may have been off camera that he got promoted to level five bagman. I don't think he had the option yet to choose which path because in the criminal career, there's evil and there's the thief branch. I believe so he hasn't had a chance to pick his path yet, but he does work tonight in 12 hours Did we just get a lot of money from something? I know Maria completed that opportunity I think it was the one where she had to raise 10,000 in campaign donations. Was that from that? I sort of miss things sometimes. You know what surprisingly I've been having Marco learn the cooking skill. Is that right? Yeah, he's level 5 cooking So let's have him come in here serve breakfast I'm also gonna have him put in a cooking tab cast and then after that I've been having him work out quite a bit He does need that for his job and also I don't really have much else for him to do to be honest so he's been doing that and Evangelina yes yesterday Evangelina harvested some more grapes I believe and she made some more wine so she's gonna use the restroom she does have to work here in two hours but I'm gonna have her go down to the wine cellar and let's take a look at that nectar she just made this one goddess so it's the amazing quality one so she's gonna grab that and put it in the uh, nectar rack and then she'll head off to work Let's see, Gabriella's already at school. Gabriella's mood is not great. She didn't get a chance to eat. And she was also, I think she was accused of getting into a fight. In the last episode, she went to prom. She was prom queen. I have that displayed in her bedroom. This is actually the king's crown. This was in her bedroom, which was Marcello's old bedroom. So I'm pretty sure it's from Marcello. Ah, yes. And then another thing Gabriella did yesterday is she finally made the imaginary friend Metamorphium. So if she wants to, she can turn Carvaggio, her imaginary friend, 
into a real person. I want to find out Caravaggio's other two traits. I don't know if I said this before, but I'm sort of convinced that Caravaggio is Isabella reincarnated. If you don't know, Isabella is Gabriella's grandmother. Uh, she was also evil like Caravaggio is. So there's something about Caravaggio. We don't know if Caravaggio is male or female. I don't really care. But if we turn them into a human, they're automatically added to our household. I'm going to think about it. Let me know in the comments. Do you think that's a good idea? Gabriella does have a romantic interest this guy Thad Forrest. I don't know if we're going to pursue that or not. And I need to work on her relationship with her mother as well. Evangelina, we're going to have you work hard here today. Let's head back to the house. I think Marco just had some breakfast here with the butler. How you doing, sir? I think he's going to cross over. Oh, who's this? Is that little Valentina on the porch? Yeah, there she is. Valentina, what do you need from us? I do need to teach you how to use the potty chair. So let's actually come in here quickly and do that before we have Marco go work out. Marco had a wish come up to have another kid. There's no way we can have five kids. Does it have to be his kids though? That's what's interesting. I'm not sure. But yeah, actually Marco, instead of working out, uh, you have some time before work. I'm going to have you read this book to your daughter. One thing I need to remember, Marco ages up in two days and I believe, yes, today is Maria's birthday. She's going to be turning into an elder. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Yeah, we'll have to have a birthday party or something for her tonight. Hopefully I don't forget that. These two, Adora and Nicoletta, also age up here shortly. Adora tomorrow and Nicoletta in two days, same as Marco. Wow. I can't believe our Gen 4 is ending like that. But speaking of birthdays, the twins, Claudio and Camila, they age up in two days. So that will not be in this episode, but it will be in the next one, I believe. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, looks like little Valentina has learned how to use the potty chair. Fantastic. So I think we've taught her everything that we need to. And let's head on over to Miss Maria, who I believe has finished up work. Here she comes. Let's see what happens. She has completed her lifetime wish. She is leader of the free world. Makes 452 an hour. It says, without peer, Maria's in charge. The world has voted you in as their sworn leader, defender of truth, justice, and basic sim rights. You, the leader of the free world, must work for the people more than ever. Beware of agents of evil, corruption within your government, and those not willing to serve the people above all else. This is your chance to leave your mark on the world, and it'd be a fair shame to squander it with scandal and shoddy decisions. So she now works Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. She needs to report into Burge. She did this mixology opportunity. So she's going to head over to his house, I'm guessing. I'm so proud of her. I was worried that she wouldn't be able to complete it until after she aged up into an elder. But it looks like she's there already. Over here at the Coronado residence. How you doing, sir? One thing I found out that was very interesting is that he, who by the way is Nicoletta's father, right? He is Marco Marco's boss? Is that right? Yeah, he's Marco's boss, which is very interesting. I didn't really expect him to be a criminal. And Nicoletta looks like got some job performance from completing that opportunity. It was to, I think it was just to learn a guitar skill or something. Yeah, and Maria got 400 simoleons and she increased her relationship with Burge, Burges. I don't, I don't really know how to say his name, but that's how I'm saying it. Maria, let's go ahead and have you do this other opportunity, do the cameo. Then you can come home and just relax for the rest of the night. We'll have a birthday party. This is so cute. We have Marco in here reading Little Valentina, a book. I'm still shooketh by this blonde hair that we have. Not just for her, but for the twins as well. Nicoletta and Marco must have brought in them uh, recessive genes, I guess. Gabriella wants to stay on the honor roll for three days. We also need to teach her how to drive. So what I'm going to do is just let me lock this honor roll one in. She's very tired. We're just going to have her do her homework. And then I think she'll probably hit the hay unless she has to work. We need to take a look at that. Oh, wait, just kidding. She does have to work. Uh, goodbye, Gabriella. Have a good day. It looks like Evangelina finished up work. She earned 762. And today was also her one year anniversary working at the movie studio. That's awesome. Let's see, Evangelina, what kind of progress did you make? Not too bad there. Not too bad. Uh, she's currently level eight. So what I think we're going to have Evangelina do, she's one bottle of nectar away from completing this wish. So let's just go ahead and I guess place the ingredients. Let's make the six seasons again. 
that was a good one. After that, we need to go work in the garden, and I might have her write a script here tonight. Got a lot of grapes in here. I would still like more of these two, though. I'm obsessed with Evangelina's work outfit. It's so cool. Let's see, Adora, stay at work until the crisis is averted to earn a large cash bonus. An asteroid collided with the space shuttle while the astronaut was out on a spacewalk and it appears he is floating aimlessly through the cosmos. You need to stay at mission control to guide the recovery efforts, but now the stress will be high. Bring the astronaut home and there will be a large cash bonus with your name, rank, and serial number on it. Absolutely stay late, Adora. I wonder how much late we gotta stay. Because, uh, what does it say? Until 3 a.m., 20 hours of work. Okay, Maria getting us 10,000 big ones. Maria, let's head back to the house. I guess we can plan that birthday party. Evangelina, let's just mass produce this one. And that should allow her to complete this wish. Hey, Maria. Good day for you, huh? Let's go ahead and throw the party. And then we need to go pay the bills. 13,000. Damn. While we're at it, so let's have Maria come in here, change it into her formal clothes, serve the buffet. I could have her make some drinks as well, but I think we're just going to hire a mixologist. It's her birthday, so she don't need to work and all that. Nice. Looks like Nicoletta got a promotion. Orchestra lead. She's really impressed me with how far she's come in her career. So congrats to her. Look at Burge. He's looking good in his tuxedo. Yes. And let's see. Yeah, actually, Maria, since we're with you right now, let's go ahead and have you collect our investments for the week. So let's go on down the list. We have 206,000 now. Let's start collecting these. Okay, 78,000. I'm pretty sure that's what it was last week too. Things are looking good, yes. So Maria, let's go ahead and buy a cake and we'll blow out them candles. Maria Moretti aging up into an elder. I cannot believe it. All of the fortune has impressed me so much, but especially with everything that Marie has gone through sort of later in her life with her husband's death, you know, and then completing her lifetime wish, raising an amazing child in Gabriella. She's just impressed me so much. Okay, <laughs> I love how she still has her gloves on. Oh, wow. And it looks like Maria just mastered the piano skill. I knew she was very close. I think she had been level nine for a while, but she just mastered piano on her birthday. Maria always pulling through there. So I think we're going to wind down here for the night, get everyone off to bed, and I'll see you all in the morning for another day. Okay, good morning, good morning, folks. Another busy day. It's a Tuesday here. Want to catch you up on what happened last night? I guess I deleted the notification, but Adora, she did that opportunity, right? She stayed late to help rescue the astronaut. I think it said she got 8,000 simoleons. Is that what it was? It was quite a bit. And she also got a raise. I think it was $33 an hour raise. She's good. She's back home. Very tired. Everyone got woken up in the middle of the night because Valentina was having a fit. Evangelina is just heading off to bed. She's been out in the garden working away all night. Yeah, she's she's a busy lady. Once she reaches the top of her career, I don't know, we might have her retire and just focus on gardening because that's like a full-time job. You know what I mean? Gardening, nectar making. She just has a lot of stuff going on like i said very multifaceted gabriella didn't get a full night's rest unfortunately but she is heading off to school right now and when maria gets up i'm going to give her her elder makeover and i'll show you what she looks like after that yeah evangelina you're gonna have uh, a bit of a rough time at work i'm guessing because uh the carpool's coming soon and you're not in the best condition <laughs> so uh let's run down here get some breakfast and i don't know maybe we can get her some coffee as well i don't know if that'll help Introducing the wonderful and the fabulous Miss Maria the Elder. Looking good. I wanted to keep her in something, you know, a bit more conservative because she is a politician. But as an adult, she did care very much about her appearance. So it didn't really make sense for her to just like suddenly become grumpy as an elder. So she's, uh, you know, she's as fabulous as ever, Miss Maria. 
I do not plan on having Maria retire from her job just because it does provide us a good income and that's really all she has going at the moment. She doesn't really have anything that she does as a hobby outside of work because we were pretty focused on her job. Her charisma is mastered, piano mastered, logic mastered, and bass mastered. Dang, four skills, Maria. I believe her other Gen 4s have also mastered four. Evangelina might be close to five. But um, speaking of Evangelina, she is going to head off to work. Still very tired, unfortunately, but maybe she can pull through with a promotion. I guess we'll see. Okay, so we got Nicoletta, who uh, is over here practicing piano. She does work in four hours. The door is still in bed. Marco is just now waking up. Good morning, sir. Let's have you come in here, take a shower, and we'll have you go downstairs and prepare some breakfast. I guess it's lunchtime, technically. Gabriella is on a field trip at the mausoleum. Very exciting. Today is Adora's birthday. Yes. Adora is going to be aging up into an elder. Eli Lindquist wants to know if Maria wants to go on a date. Sure. Maria, head on over to meet Eli. And then today, I want to go and see how much the resorts are going to cost us because we have 300,000 simoleons just sitting there in our bank account. We might as well invest it in something. Uh, maybe after Maria's date, she can head on over to the resorts, check out both of them and see which one we want to purchase. I'm not really ready to build our own resort quite yet, but I can definitely consider that in the future. Did he just reject us? It looks like he's not even coming. So screw that guy. Um, and let's just head over to this resort over here first. So this one is how much? 322. So we actually cannot afford this yet. But let's go here and see what it looks like. And then we'll head over to this one over here after that. This one we can't afford. It's 250. So let's go with Maria and check those out. She's going to take a boat taxi, which we love. Okay. Gabriella getting this lifetime wish option, I guess, to reach the top of, or I think this is level nine. Yeah, level nine of the science career track. Not going to lock it in yet because there are a few that we are sort of considering, but um, she needs to play for guitar club at the school. Maybe she can do that after field trips over and stuff. Ah, oh, Birch died. That's so sad. Nicoletta's father. That's terrible news. Speaking of Nicoletta, she's heading off to work right now. Let's take a look here at this resort. Okay. So I actually have both of these resorts placed in my current household family. I'm trying to remember which one earns the most. It actually doesn't depend much on the value of the resort. I'm sure that contributes to how much you make daily from the resort, but I think the occupancy matters quite a bit. Like how many people can actually stay there, you know? So this one has these two things over here. I really, really like this resort. I think I might like the style of this one more than the other. Okay, so we have, these are like the private suites. Yeah, and these are like just the normal ones. I think there are two of them. And there's a spa up here, very schmancy. A gym, big old pool, fire pits, buffets, lots of buffets actually. So this is a really good option. And this is the resort where we actually have the hole that Luciana dug. That's so funny that it's still back here. She has to check in before she uses it, unfortunately, which is maybe another reason to buy this one, but it is usable. She can use this tunnel to travel over to our house. That's so funny. Okay, so this is a really, really good option. It is a bit far out of the way. Like it's not really close to our house at all. This one is a bit closer. So let's check out Hotel Toscana. I don't know if we can make 20,000 simoleons today. We might be able to find some stuff to sell in order to raise the, uh, the capital that we need to buy this one. Again, 322, I think it was. So Maria, let's go over to the other one, which is within our budget, I would say. We'll see if that one looks as good as this one. Ah, yes, Adora, how you doing? She's over here in the living room playing instruments with her wife. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Adora made this stone sculpture. I've mostly been doing eye sculptures for her, but I wanted to do something different. So she has made 16 eye sculptures. 22 sculptures total and because she's completed over 20 sculptures she has this chisel meister skill challenge completed she can make sculptures faster very nice very nice Cool. So I'm going to go ahead into buy mode and place this somewhere on our property. And then I'm going to have her come out here and start working on another one. 
We're going to place this one right here for now. This is the, it's called Siren's Call. Also going to sell this stuff that's in our uh, family inventory right here. Nicolette is a bit late for work, so she's going to rush off and going to have her work hard. And ay ay ay. I want Gabriella to go ahead and do this opportunity, play for a guitar club. Even though she's exhausted again, she needs to get like a full night's rest. That's what she needs. Okay, so let's go over here to the resort that Maria's at. Damn, this this place is very lush and beautiful. Got a lot of greenery here. Okay, so we have the entrance area, a couple bathrooms, a buffet up here. It's not as big, but we could easily add more tables in here. Okay, a gym downstairs. So I think this one has lower occupancy than the other one because there's just one of these. Oh yeah, there are a couple of these like, I don't know if they're deluxe rooms or not, but there are two of these up here. So I think that's probably why this one's cheaper. I think the occupancy is probably a bit lower, which means we would make less money daily. But what I could do is bulldoze this courtyard thing over here. It's cool, but I don't know if it's necessary. And I could just add another one of these. Again, that would cost more money. I think there might be space back here as well to add something. Okay, so I definitely think for a first investment, the other one's probably better choice. But like I said, we don't got the coins just yet for it. So Maria, head back to the house and we'll try to figure something out there. Evangelina did pull through, damn. And she got the promotion to assistant director. That is awesome. She's super tired though, so let's have her head home and let's read what it says about being an assistant director. It says film goers raise eyebrows and the blogosphere is bustling with commentary on your specific contributions to your films. The entire movie doesn't fall under your guiding hand quite yet, but Sims know your mark of quality and innovation when they see it. It's just a matter of time, Miss Assistant Director. 229 per hour. So she's level nine of the directing branch of the film career. That's awesome. Super proud of her. And it looks like this is her new career outfit. The pantsuit with the aviators. Very directorly, if I might say so. I really need her to work on the garden, but she's super tired. So Evangelina, we'll have you come upstairs, quickly go off to bed. I feel like no one's taking care of the toddlers at all. Yikes. We have the butler at least, so that'll help. Gabriella finished up that guitar opportunity and now she has to go to work at the morgue or the more uh the uh or the mausoleum, I guess I should say. Oh yeah. Adora, Adora, I'm so sorry. I thought we would have time because Maria didn't age up until late at night, but looks like Adora's she's doing it. There she goes. Elder status, Miss Adora. We'll get your outfits taken care of and everything. So Adora will continue working on that. And uh, I don't even know what to say about Marco's work outfit. It's a uh, animal print shirt with the uh, collar. If I saw this, I would not think, oh, that person is a bag man. I would think something else. We don't judge. We do not judge. But yeah, Marco's heading off to work. Marco, have a great day doing, you know, whatever it is that you do. Maria's over here talking to Angel Kemp. It's her friend and it's Evangelina's friend. And Nicoletta did okay at work. Definitely want her to work on her piano skill because we have this lifetime wish. If you don't remember, I did end up changing it. So she now has the one sim band lifetime wish uh, so she needs to master bass guitar drums and piano she's already mastered guitar uh, pianos level four she has no bass skill so we have quite a ways to go with that so speaking of that let's have you come in here and start working on that bass skill nicoletta adora completed an ice sculpture okay let's go ahead and sell that i think she had a wish to make ten thousand simoleons or so from sculpting so we did complete that which is nice let's have you make another one there i will say i am so ready for these toddlers to turn into children there's so much work but uh thankfully we have folks like gabriella and evangelina here who are helping out gabriella is exhausted though she needs to go to sleep and she needs to sleep for like ever 
I still need to teach her how to drive as well. We'll definitely do that. Let's see, she ages up in four days. So we can definitely do that this weekend, maybe Friday or Saturday. So, you know, I think we are just going to end things here. The Moretti's are going to wind down here for the night. In this episode, two of our fourth gen became elders, which is something else. But, you know, Maria and Adora, they're amazing. I'm so proud of them and all they've achieved and will continue to achieve in their elderhood in the next episode. We're going to have Nicoletta, Marco, and the twins, Claudio and Camila, aging up into the next stage of their lives. So we have a lot to look forward to. And we're also going to be buying that resort finally. So thank you all so much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next episode. <laughs>